generic greetings and as you can see we've got a lovely little Beechcraft 1900 landing as the 767 is waiting to take off. Yes, this is also a Embar 195 which is ready to go as well. It's, it's getting very crowded isn't it around here? <laughs> Anyway, back on Sim Airport once again, the previous episode, we took a gamble, uh, took a bit of a risk, and built another airplane gate. Obviously, increasing the size of uh, our like check-in area as well. Just generally expanded it massively, and it worked out. It worked out very, very well. We're now, we've now got a very good turnover. As you can see, total is now 70,000, which is very, very good. What I want to do this episode is put this other airplane gate in. This is going to be... The, the problem I've, I've got is that my schedule is now, I think, okay, but as soon as we get a delay, we get a very big knock-on effect where it will start cancelling multiple aircraft at once. What we need to do is have it so we've got a nice staggered thing like this, but we will have redundancy uh, gate, because there's no point, if we look at our status yesterday, there's no point in having all of these, all of these different... Um, Plane scheduled, all these flights scheduled, but cancelling four of them over the course of the day. And I think how many have how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. And we're cancelling four of them. So yeah, that's not good. So another gate will prevent that and in the end give us more money. Okay. That's the plan. Where I'm going to do it is increase my loan to maxed out and then build some more things. So foundation and expand that along to, uh, I believe it was, hang on, cancel it a sec. It is right to the end, okay. Foundation, along to the end to there. And hopefully it will fix this off. A lot of people there have been frustrated, I'm not too sure why. This, this shouting, ah. Overall passes, passenger satisfaction is fine. We just need something that can help them rest. Um, cafe is something I do want to build, and I think what we'll do is get this expansion done quickly, and then we'll go for the cafe this episode. However, understand that the cafe may end the game. And the reason for that is because... Uh, there's also a body scanner, advanced alternative to the standard metal detector. Never use this body scanner. Just you've got these ones. Maybe we should go for that at some point. Anyway, the problem with the cafe, at least in my experience, is that uh, what can happen is people will go to the cafe, they will order something at the ordering desk, and then stand there forever. I have a save where there is over a thousand entities at each of the three checkouts that I have here. So 3,000 people approximately around this area and the game obviously runs like a bag of bolts. It just doesn't work, understandably. So yes. Anyway, all the money that I got off that loan was, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was just to build this bit because it does take a lot of money there. We do have multi-lane access, uh, 36 hours, and it gives your changes your airport entrance and exit to be two-lane roads for higher throughput. I am going to do that because I think it's something that we do need. Um, this gate is almost ready to go actually it doesn't look like it but i think it is because we just need to have a couple of taxiways and a door uh, a large sliding door which will go there and then we need to have a gate check-in agent type thing which will go there and then we'll have a queue which will be from this area and then go down and up and round and you've seen it all before oh that's the wrong way Although, some people have mentioned that staggering it like that and having like weird shapes actually works out because it doesn't slow the passengers down, it doesn't piss them off, and it allows you to put like um, little trees in and such. It makes them all happy, which I never thought about that. That's actually, until someone said it, I thought, yeah, that's quite a smart decision. Um, this one seems to seem to be quite far away compared to that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that correct? Why is there so much of a gap? Oh, because this this one goes along to this side. And the, yeah, okay. The reason that happens is because of the direction of uh, placement. Okay. Three decorative bushes then. And we will have a bench, or technically we'll have three benches. 
and we can't have any over there because it doesn't fit in. We will have this assigned to that, and uh, this assigned to that. So there's all the gates connected. Obviously, require, it requires two taxiway frontages, which we currently don't have, but we can sort out one of those like so. And this is suboptimal. I do want to connect it here as well. Because what will probably happen is I'll have a, a one coming straight away down here and then have a very, very large taxiway in this side, maybe? I don't know. I haven't thought about it too much. Maybe that's why we're not doing too well. Now, we are doing okay, actually. It's just the bank loan interest is going to kick our ass while we get this done. So this is technically... Oh, it's almost there. It's almost there. That's the problem. That One more would help us would resolve the uh, some of the issues that we're having. In terms of research, uh, as you can see, we've got most of the research done, which is very, very good. We have overall good satisfaction, and airline interest is 56%. I don't have any frame of reference whether that's good or not. I really don't know. In terms of pricing as well, our pricing does seem to be accepted, but I don't know whether putting it up higher will give us some issues or not. I really genuinely just don't know. And the only way to do it is just to play the game and figure it out. Either way, we have planes landing. If we go over to our schedule, we can see it's um, fairly um, full. And in terms of status, yesterday we had a lot of problems with the uh, cancellations, which is what we're trying to resolve over here. Well, there's our two planes all docked up, which is good. I could, if I wanted to, change this baggage routing station and put it around here, and then it's more centralised, which I think is the better choice. I think we'd want to do that at some point, but that's probably when we go to expand on this side, so at the moment we will probably leave it be. We got three grand. What I'm really saving up for is a... I think we really need another... Um, well, we, need, we definitely need this taxiway put in. Once that's put in, we should be okay. <sighs> Today's beverage is uh, a mango juice. Tasty. Catches you through a little bit, but it's quite nice. Yeah, we put this in here, and then we will put some vending machines in and expand it along. I think that is the plan. Well, so far... I have to say, so good. I mean, there's been little odd bugs and things like that, but nothing that's broke the game, which is fine. I mean, this is fairly... I wouldn't say game-breaking, but it's fairly abusive that you don't even have to staff the security desks, which is, yeah, an issue. I'm sure a patch will come along shortly to resolve that, and when it does, I will obviously sort that out. I know a lot of people... Uh, well, not a lot of people. A couple of people are unhappy that we haven't done that, but also... Other people understand that the money that we'd waste on that, we could happily spend and uh, build something like this. So I think this is more interesting. Either way, we are very close to another taxiway, which will go there. And then that will finish off this thing entirely and hopefully stop the cancellations. There we go. There's that place. If we go over to schedule, uh, I keep got schedule status. Today, yeah, look, two flights cancelled. Cancelling that uh, Ford Air Boeing 767A2 has never landed for <laughs> several days. So, yeah. You see, airport status is open and fully functional. Requires, it gives you a little uh, list of what you need to do. If you are, um, for example, having a... Uh, if you're starting on sandbox mode, then it, um, you know, that's a good reason to look at that. Anyway, in terms of flooring, we do need to put flooring in, which is problematic because we can't cost... It, it costs too much, but I think something is just landing. Uh, come on. Come on. Land. Here it comes. And as soon as we either landing, we can then place that flooring. Excellent. So, uh, I don't know what's going to use this one, but that's more overflow now, to be honest with you. That is more overflow. So, if these two are used, it will end up using this one. This airplane gate. I don't know if anyone's actually going to... Uh, go there. Now we could, if we wanted to, we could go around and we could technically get another se set of flights. Why well, we could triple book the entire area. We could have three here, three here, three here. Having three here, I don't think is a big problem. Or is it? I don't know. Um, no, having three here isn't a problem because we've got such a big gap. So maybe that's the best way of doing it. Um, 
yes, I think we'll have another night flight, and that shouldn't have us. That shouldn't give us any problem. Aerostar does have a night flight, a seven seven seven, so we can't have that. Starflight has a night flight of an Embar one ninety five. I want more people. Actually, I want as much as I can get. There's an afternoon flight. No, a four day has three flights, and we. No new Galactic, I believe. Look at all the flights we can have, but they're all massive Airbuses and 737s and stuff like that. Oh my god, the interest is killing me here. Galactic Point, we've got some new, nothing there. Uh, Smart Air, more night flights, which is all Airbuses, and a 777 more. And yeah, so there's only one flight I believe we can accept, and it's uh, it's in Star Flight. So I'll accept that. Got a schedule. And we'll put it there. There you are. Job done. Can you do that? No, you can't. But that'll do us quite nicely. To be honest, there's no reason having it. There's no reason why we can't just put it there. No reason why we can't. I don't think. So, something was landing. I think. Was it landing? I don't know. It sounds like something was landing. In terms of research, we are. Oh, we've actually completed our um, road. But, ah, uh, problems. Road does is required to go along here, and how much is a road? Eight grand a piece. You are taking. No, it can't be. It cannot be eight grand a section. Is it eight grand? Route vehicles to where they need to go with 2x2 two two sections use R key to rotate. Really? It's 8 grand and I have to cross the entire area. And obviously I'll have to alter the drop-offs. Yep, that isn't getting done then. Um, I could go ahead and mess around with it, but f quite frankly, I, my dear, I just don't give a damn. Uh, in terms of our flight status, you can see we've got departing, we've got turning up. The... Ah, the Embar 195A2, and uh, more importantly, the Boeing 767A1 is departed. It landed, it got to the gate, and it took off. Excellent. It means we haven't got a cancellation there. Because every time they cancel, um, you do get... I, I do believe you lose money. Um, let's have a quick look at our flights. Um, yeah, let's look at the money you lose for the termination fee. Oh, no, that's terminated flight, not cancelled flight. There is a distinct difference. Terminated is ones you cancel your, one you get rid of yourself. So you just say, look, I don't want to, um, that flight. You say, right, right click. I don't want that to terminate the flight. Cancelled is different. So actually, there's no, is that, does that mean there's no disadvantage then of just overbooking everything? I guess the disadvantage would mean the airline interest goes down. Yeah, probably. Uh, let's go to pricing, and let's be a bit cheeky. We'll knock this up by a little bit and save the new prices. We'll see if anything cancels. I don't know if it will or not. If it does, then we'll reduce that back down. But I will try and bleed off as much cash as I can, because, uh, you know, capitalism! Anyway, so we'll go to objects and over to vending machine, and we'll put a food vending in there and food vending in there. And we could have... We don't have any decorative trees on the outside, and I think it would be nice to actually have some of these just to make it look a little bit better. There we are. Because we are... Oh, look at that. That looks really cool! All of these planes. We've come quite a way since our... Uh, our last uh, go at this. Our, uh, our, our starting place, should I say. Right, okay. Um, cafes. Oh, I'm tempted not to do it because it's so buggy. It's so buggy. And even cancelling, even removing the cafe gives you huge problems as well. Well, sorry, even cancelling the cafe doesn't get rid of the people that um, have have been like locked there because of the bug. So I don't know if that's the way to go or not. I do want to go that I, I do want to go for a full completionist with a with a cafe because it makes you good money as well. But well, maybe that's a future us problem because if it bugs out the game, the, the campaign's over. Like that's it, series ended because like, it just eventually gets it slows to a crawl. And even if it's fixed in a patch, which it might be, I don't know if that's going to retroactively so solve our save problem. So what I think we should do is instead of going for a cafe, is go for a larger terminal, expand our ticket office, and go for a larger terminal. I think that is the way forward. So 
let us work on that principle and go down that route. What haven't we researched? There's upgrade buses. Uh, schedules an extra double decker bus every 30 minutes. I'm going to not get that because I've still got this loan interest that's really, really given me some issues, so I'd rather get rid of that. In terms of scheduling, um, is there anything we can do? Um, around here. Um, I really... We could have more night flights. You know? I think we could. It's a shame these can't come back a little bit further. Hmm... See, these two are there. We could... Because we've got three... Because we've got three gates now, we could technically pull these right back. Like that. And we should really have another one around here, between the six and seven. Uh, you know what, let's put it back to where it was. Like that. So we can have another morning flight here. Between six and seven. So let's go to flights and check on here. Atlantic is an afternoon flight. Aerostar is night and afternoon. Starflight has one which is an afternoon. Pacific Airlines morning. Uh, just a Beechcraft though. I want a bigger one than that if we can. WestJet, no. Afford a morning flight, 767. Yes! Let's have that one! And we'll have it there. Job done. Yeah. I like the way it actually, it seems to put the the different companies' planes next to each other. Actually, is that the case? Am I talking crap there? Aerostar, Starflight, Starflight. No, it does seem to put them like that. There's just no sorting, so yeah. There you go. Oh, look, there's our little beach craft. <laughs> Doesn't take long to uh, get that sorted. Excellent. So, is there any other upgrades we can do here? Um, increase safety. You can have more runway PAPIs. I don't know why you would have more than one. Maybe it does. Maybe it stacks. I don't know. Oh, do you see that? That's bugged out. Oh, we got a bug. Oh yeah, we've got a massive bug. Um. Oh no. Hang on. Nope. It's fixed itself. There we go. <laughs> yes. That was a bit of a bug there. I don't know if you spotted that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I think it's just the way these had to go. Instead of going, yeah, it, that was that was an issue. <laughs> oh well. There we go, anyway. So, this is fine. These are working. We have not got another flight info display. Not that I flight... Not that I think we need it. Um, flight info display. Not that I think we need it, like I say, but... Um, perhaps the way to go. Just place it down. Put some more little bushes in. We haven't checked our, our nice, good-looking area heat map type thing. But it's a... Uh, Nice, it's projecting quite nicely. Yeah, there we go. Uh, our electronics vendor is getting used, but I don't know what the overall usage is. Um, perhaps having another one somewhere. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I like that. I like it when you've got the three three planes all docked. It's very, very nice. Anyway, let's go for a, a taxiway. It's going to be... Is it 16 grand a piece? So it'll be... Oh, God expensive because I want to connect these two here I think what I'll end up doing is expanding this route down like that and then having a large aircraft gate like that and another runway here I think that's the plan e yes but where is the entrance don't know. I'll be down the bottom, of course. But means expanding the building hugely. Huge expansion, which I don't think we can... Well, we definitely can't afford just yet. We will get it eventually, but uh, not now. Uh, we should have new buses now. Do we have new buses? Oh, I didn't upgrade the buses, of course. 
We'll get them eventually. Let's just check our status. And oh, already we had cancellations. One cancellation there. Two cancellations. Failed to reserve runway and f and uh, reneged by airline. So they pulled that flight. That wasn't to do with me. That was them. And failed to reserve runway was an interesting one. Never seen that before. At least as far as I can recall. Which one was it? It was the... Uh, Sta Smart Air Lux. That one. Failed to reserve the runway. Huh, I don't know, there might have been delays or something. Strange. Anyway. Over to another taxiway. And one more taxiway should um, fix some of the issues of this taking off. It looks like they have accepted the new price. Oh, actually, do you know what that'll have been? That, re that reneged. That'll have been... Um, the pricing. That'll have probably been the pricing, you know. I think that's what it'll have been. Yes. We'll see if they accept that today. If they don't accept the new price, then, um, balls to them. I'll just cancel them, get someone else that will... <laughs> we could play like that. But, um, we'll most likely just alter the... Alter the schedule somewhat, or reduce the pricing, I think, is the way forward. Obviously, we haven't altered anything to do with the restrooms. I don't know about capacity for said toilet facilities. I also have just realised that for some reason there is a toilet um, missing from this bit at the bottom, and uh, that's a bit strange. I do not know what. Do not know why that 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 was missing. Let's go back to our status. Uh, en route, en route, uh, delayed en route, failed to reserve runway, but it should be delayed, it should still land, come on, cancelled, failed to reserve runway, alright, oh, okay, there's just so much traffic on it. it, we're gonna get some cancellations, it doesn't seem to massively affect, our airline interest is going up, so that's, that can only be a good thing, um, I think having another runway is the way forward now, another runway is probably the way to go. Yes, I think so. But either way, that taxi way there should now stop a lot of the uh, a lot of the problems with. You see, they have to come to the centre and then around. That's causing some pileups, I believe. So having that may solve a lot of problems. Our estimated monies income is a hundred thousand. That's profit as well, but that's not including any cancellations. I don't believe it in the slightest. I really do not. Uh, cancel, departed, schedule, schedule. Yeah, that's okay. Well, it's working. If nothing, it, you know, if nothing else, this is working, which is fine. How much money are we making off um, vending machines? Quite a bit, I think. Staff don't have any needs in this game. Um, passengers have needs, but it seems to be don't really care uh, but yes staff don't have any needs as far as I can tell so they just stand there and work like constantly which is a thing um, people are getting through security as far as I can tell on time oh, that looks very impressive when you have all three docked up like that I really like that that's very impressive to see very, very nice. <laughs> I don't know why, but all the airlines are like the colour of bad looking ties. Anyway. So, in terms of balance, uh, we are 26 grand. I have current maximum loan 100,000, so we do need to pay that back because you can see that, uh, well, you can't actually on the recent transactions, but we are paying back a. Oh no, current loan is 50 grand. Right, sorry, yes. So we just need to pay back one more, just one bit of the loan, and then we'll be sorted. I'm still thinking, do I, or do I not schedule more flights? So far there's only one cancellation, and they didn't uh, renege this time. They didn't say, no, we're not landing at your airport. That's delayed, failed to reserve runway, but en route still. Now it should be able to land, the Boeing. There you go, final approach. And there it is, yeah. So it delayed a little bit because of the runway. So we will get another 
We will get another uh, runway, I think. Now, obviously, we only charge. We only charge, where is it? Uh, pricing, 700. I think we're going to change that to uh, 800. 800 to use the runway per usage, regardless of plane size, and then obviously we're making money, most of our money on the terminal usage income, which is why having a cafe is very good, because all these people coming through here, you know, the more, if you just use small aircraft and charge them a lot, then that's okay, I guess, but all of the supplementary money, so things like the vending machines, uh, the cafes, you can, you can profit off that, which is something you want to do, but as I've said several times now, I'm very hesitant to do the cafe thing because of the bugs that I've experienced in it, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. I think the overall plan here is to go for a large terminal, a large gate, and get bigger planes in. Like, oh, do we want to do that? Because in order to, if we need, if we have a bigger gate, we're going to have to have a bigger baggage area, bigger ticketing area, and it's a huge amount of work. Not that I'm against that. Problem is the money. Like, you've seen how long it's taken to build this little bit here. So, hmm, now let's decrease our bank loan so we're even, we've even skinned to them where previously. We've got no money at all now. So, I don't know if that's the, the good way of doing it or not. There's a lot of people going in there. Overall satisfaction is lowering, actually. The needs boredom 100% satisfied. It never goes down. Cleanliness is fine, information's there, a bit of frustration, a bit of hunger and rest. I don't know what the rest need would be. I'm guessing cafe. Oh, do I risk it? Do I risk it? Ugh. Okay, uh, let me know what you think. Next episode, do we build a cafe or do we build a large terminal? Bearing in mind that the large, uh, the large gate, sorry, a large gate will require another runway. It'll require a massive expansion around here, including uh, probably the ticketing up to this side, the baggage uh, further down and have a bigger baggage area. And yeah, it's going to be massive. I'm leaning towards expanding down here and having a bigger baggage area and a cafe. But let me know what you think. Comments in the comments and we will go from there. As always, thanks so much for watching. Take care and generic partings.